death scares many people, and the question of whether there is something after it has preoccupied humanity throughout its history. Death is as natural a process as life itself, therefore there is no need to fear it. Today, we will discuss this topic and present to you 10 interesting facts about death. Scientists estimate that approximately 100 billion people have passed away throughout the entire history of humanity. Here are a few more fascinating facts about death. 1. The fear of death is known as thanatophobia. 2. There's a term called clinical death, which refers to the cessation of heart and lung activity, but the brain may remain viable for several minutes. 3. Animals can also exhibit grief for deceased members of their group or pack. 4. Some cultures observe a day of the dead to remember and pay respects to departed family members and friends. 5. Many notable figures have left behind not only their achievements, but also their last wishes, outlining how they would like their remains to be handled. 6. Currently, there are initiatives focused on finding ways to extend life and enhance its quality. These facts highlight that death is a natural part of the life cycle and can help us better understand and come to terms with this process. Only one disease, malaria, was the cause of death for half of all these people. This disease is prevalent in Africa and Asia, the most densely populated regions of the planet. Throughout human history, malaria has been the primary cause of death in these areas. Nowadays, thanks to advances in medicine, malaria claims far fewer lives than before. Nevertheless, at least one million people die from malaria every year. The first person to be buried on the moon was the American scientist Eugene Shoemaker. His remains were placed in a capsule and sent to the moon aboard the research spacecraft Lunar Prospector, which completed its mission by crashing into the southern pole of our satellite in 1999. According to statistics, out of all days in the year, the highest risk of death falls on one's birthday. And there are two reasons for this. Firstly, if a person suffers from depression, it often intensifies on their birthday, increasing the risk of them contemplating suicide. Secondly, it is on one's birthday that accidents related to excessive alcohol consumption in celebration are more likely to occur. So when you celebrate your next birthday, be cautious and keep this risk in mind. Each day on Earth, approximately 150,000 people, or 100 individuals per minute, pass away. So while you're watching this video, about 400 people will have departed. However, more than 250 children are born every minute. The ancient Celts wholeheartedly believed in the afterlife. They would even lend money to someone on the condition that it would be repaid in the other world. This, I believe, is a true manifestation of faith. Have you ever noticed that as soon as a well-known person passes away, the media immediately publishes their obituary? This means an article or video segment about the person's life and achievements. But how do they manage to write and produce these obituaries so quickly? In reality, it's quite simple. Most major media outlets already have obituaries prepared for many well-known individuals, especially those who are elderly. All that's left is to fill in the date of death. So, imagine, while you're still alive, they've already made a film about your demise. Quite eerie, isn't it? Many people believe that hair and nails continue to grow even after death. In reality, this is a myth. After death, the skin of the deceased begins to dry out, which can give the appearance that hair and nails are still growing. In truth, their length remains unchanged. In Madagascar, there is a remarkable custom for deceased relatives they are often buried right in the yard of the house in a special tomb. So every seven years, these deceased individuals are exhumed to be dressed in new clothes. During the ritual, music is played and delicious treats are offered. It is also customary to have polite conversations with the deceased, share the latest news, and even ask for blessings from them. Several centuries ago, doctors didn't have precise methods for diagnosing death. Consequently, it would often happen that a person who was in a state of deep coma or a death-like sleep would be buried alive. As a result, they would wake up later, which was quite distressing for them. That's why in the mid 18th century, some individuals started to be buried in so-called safety coffins. Such a coffin had a breathing tube extending outside. Additionally, a rope was tied to the deceased's wrist with the other end connected to a bell on the grave. Nowadays, doctors have the capability to accurately diagnose death making the need for such coffins obsolete. Do you believe in the afterlife? If so, specifically in reincarnation, heaven or hell, or perhaps you think that death is the end of it all? Write down your answers in the comments. 
I also recommend checking out my videos with interesting facts about mummies and medical experiments. See you in the new videos. Bye for now.